Hello, hello, my lovely angels. This is your girl Sim back with another episode of The Sim Squad. Hi! So, today we are doing home fragrances. It is Ramadan, and usually, everybody in the Middle East usually has this uh, uh, ritual of doing Oud in their house, whether you call it Oud, Bakhur, or Dukhun. There's so many words for different products, and we use all of it. We use upholstery sprays different things to make our house smell good and usually the houses are smelling spectacular now you can use burners you can use uh, um, oil burners you can use uh, coal burners you can use electric burners i personally prefer coal burners because they give the most authentic and the most beautiful smokiness that you want in your house but mind you you need to be careful of your smoke detectors and everything because too much of the the bakhur it can cause um, your fire alarms to go off, you know, so be careful about that. This entire range I have today is from Khadlaj. They have sent this to me on different, different occasions, right? They're not sent all together, but during Ramadan, they sent me three different Ouds. Now, in Ramadan especially, we use this thing called Muatar, Oud Muatar. Oud Muatar is basically, it's a stick, the Oud sticks, and then it has Atar in it, Atar is the oil. So these are oud sticks that are infused with different, different oils, creating different, different perfumes, right? For burning. Now I have four uh, bakhurs for you and two room sprays. Let me get over with room sprays first. So they have these, they sent me these two on different occasions again. This is called Mahmali. It's an air freshener. And then they have Mahasan. So Mahmali means velvety and Mahasan I think means beauty or beautiful or something. And these are like really, really stunning. One is a traditional one and the other one is a more caramelly, very gourmand one, right? Now I want you to see how this one dispenses. So when you press it, yeah, it just keeps going, you know, Can, did you see that? Like it has a very, very mild, this is water based for sure. It doesn't have alcohol and all that. It just smells like scented water. Yeah. And it will not cause you to choke around the house and everything. It gives a very mild, beautiful scent. It usually lasts longer than your normal air fresheners and stuff. So normally we use these on upholstery, like our bed sheets, linen, uh, your sofas, your um, curtains and everything. And these don't really stain. See, some of it came on my hands and it just smells like very nice rose water with some woods and everything. This is a stunning one. And then they sent me another one, which was Mahasin. I'm gonna spray it this side because <laughs> I don't want it to come on me. Again, you know, it's very strong. Ali had sprayed this on all the uh, rugs and uh, anything that was on the floor. And when I entered, I'm like, what's this caramelly smell coming from the house? And he was just smiling and I'm like, you've done something. And it smells a little feminine, this one. So I was a bit surprised why did Ali put this? And he was enjoying the scent so much because it's very gourmand, very yummy smelling fragrance. So during daytime and everything, it just makes the house smell like really really warm and nice i'll mention the prices of every product these are like very reasonably priced but the star of the show is of course the bakhurs they also sent me this very nice uh, stone um, or clay not sure what it is it's a handmade hand painted uh, incense burner i'm gonna light this up so if you've not seen my previous video before be very careful don't burn yourself <laughs> Take all the precautions necessary. Okay, we are used to it. So we know what we're doing. Don't hold it in your hand like this. Keep it somewhere, you know, where it's a little ventilated because normally the coals that we use, it is self-igniting. So you just have to use it for a little while, the torch and the, um, the coal just lights up on its own. So let me just show you how it lights up. So make sure that your coal is like well lit. Yeah, once it's like nice and all over lit you know and the self uh, igniting ones they light up like really really fast i'm going to do this first one it is called ghana i'm going to put the prices and everything for you guys over here the notes for this are top notes of tuberose and jasmine middle notes of lotus and saffron and the base notes of agarwood and sandalwood so this one is a bakhur a bakhur normally comes in like cakes like this and you just I was going to say bite off. <laughs> no, you just like break off a little bit, you know. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to take a very small portion, okay. So I've just taken this much and you'll see how quickly it smokes up. So 
so beautiful. So usually what we do is like we, when I'm not wearing fully like this, you know, uh, you usually do it in your hair. You can stand with your clothes and you can stand over this and put your clothes over it. So then your entire body like just gets like perfumated and everything. But normally these bakhurs, like the ones which are these cakes, these are usually the ones we use at home. And for self, um, uh, what do you call it, perfumating or self uh, ooding or bakhuring, you know, you normally use the oud muatar, which is the sticks, right? So I don't want to waste this. Now I'm thinking, you know what? The thing is that I actually got four burners because I thought, let me demonstrate all of them separately. So let me leave this one over here. This old lady has been with me like before marriage, like she's dusty and crusty right now because I've not done my cleaning. But uh, she's like a woman with the traditional uh, Emirati attire and then she's carrying this basket and I've put the coal in here. I'm going to light this one up. But first, let me tell you about Ghana. Now, Ghana is uh, a very modern kind of uh, home perfume. So it doesn't smell very oudi or very traditional. It just gives you a nice smoky sweetness along with some fruits, but a lot of sandalwood and woodiness. But like this is probably like my favorite uh, bakhur to do on daily basis because the perfume is like very, very mild. But at the same time, it just makes the whole house uh, smell like stunningly gorgeous. And the smell of this perfume lasts a very long time. So see, like if you just have like a one bedroom, then you don't need to light up a lot of it. This entire thing is going to last you like months, you know, literally. And you can place it in different corners of your house. And we also feel like the nicer the house smells, the more angels come into your house and everything like good energy, good vibes, everything, right? Now, while this is burning here, let me do the second one, which is also a bakhur. So I'm going to do like two bakhurs and two oud muatars, right? Sorry, it's this one. This is called bakhur maha. Again, I'm going to put prices and everything for you guys separately. Comes in a very nice packaging. Again, there are cakes in here. You know, these uh, bakhur cakes. Maha is for only US dollars 15. The top notes for this are lemon, apple and peach. Middle notes of lavender and rose and the base notes of patchouli, oak moss and tonka. Now, let me put this one aside. See, I'm so used to it that like, you know, despite of all the uh, smoke around me, you, I don't feel like uh, choking or something. So let me put just a little, a small little piece from this. There's a lot in there, but just a little bit of it. And again, you can feel the oil and everything on your fingers, you know. So see, it lit up like super fast. Isn't she so cute? So my entire family has one. So these used to come in sets, right? So there used to be a female and a, a male in a traditional outfit, also holding a basket, you know. So like my mom, my sisters, they all have the sets. I had just bought this one because I've always lived in a small house and I don't need like two different ones. But then I have the one which Khadlat sent me. There are N number of ones that I've gifted to other people. My sister has gifted me this one, which is my favorite. And this one, I'll show you how pretty it looks when I light the oud in it. Um, and then you have the regular one, this one. Now I'm thinking like, should I light so many? Like, will the smoke detectors go off? <laughs> Let me put this one in the... Now this one, by the way, it smells like more fruity. It smells fresher. Once the bakhur is over and it's like left as like it's remin it's like ruminating in your house. At that time, you feel um, it's more earthy, rosy kind of scent rather than the initial fruity blast that I'm getting right now. Uh, although apple bothers me usually in perfumes, this one doesn't really feel like apples. Now this one, by the way, is the, my least favorite out of all of them because more than bakhurs, I prefer oud muatars and I'll show you why. Let me put this in the living room and come back because I don't want my smoke detectors going off. This one is really my favorite. So this one is called oud muatar ghalia and it, it's like a lot of... I oops, I dropped an entire chunk. Okay, let me just take it out in my hand. It looks like looks like wood chips like this <laughs> oh my gosh it's hot. okay you know so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm just gonna 
use the same coal. Please, please be super careful when you are doing bakur. If you're not confident, then better if you use electric ones, you know. So I'm going to take just this one piece of stick. Let it light up a little bit. You normally get these uh, tongs as well along with the bakurs. Just have that with yourself because it's easier to pick up stuff. You don't have to dirty your fingers, you know, you can just... And I wanted to show you this one my sister had bought. Look at how pretty it looks. Isn't it stunning? <laughs> so you can just carry it around everywhere and uh, put it around your house. Actually, I just leave it in one corner and then take it to the, other, the diff, uh, another room and just place it in another corner and everything. But this is like my favorite oud burner ever. It's so pretty. And this is one of my favorite oud muatars. And guess how much it is priced at? This is priced at only $10, which is like amazing. Like how dirt cheap. By the way, this one will last you probably three months if you're doing it on a daily basis. Um, this one has the top notes of cardamom and lily of the valley. Middle notes of freesia and muguet and the base notes of nutmeg and patchouli. All I can tell you, it, it smells like floral heaven with a lot of earthiness. The cardamom is just adding like a little bit of like freshness to it. It's not really making it smell very uh, gourmandy or spicy or anything. But this one is like quite a bit sweet. And this one is like a traditional one. Plus, you know, because you're burning the oud stick, it also gives you the oud. And that's like the main thing that I like in a bakhur or a oud muatar. But the reason why I prefer using oud muatar is just because of this, that woodiness. Actually, it's a different feeling altogether compared to the bakhurs. Now, let me put this one aside as well. <laughs> there again. It'll keep burning like this. That, that little stick burns for the longest time. And last but not the least, I have oud muatar ranati. And this is, again, it comes like sealed very well in a plastic uh, airtight thingy. And then you have like those chunks again. You know, the oud chunks. Just going to put one small piece so that I can demonstrate it to you. Let it light up. And I'm going to show off another one of my <laughs> oud burners. <laughs> I think I've shown this one before as well. This is the most common one which everybody uses. Like it's very, it's very, very cheap. Like on Amazon, I think you get it for like $5 or something. And like it just looks stunning. It goes with most of the interiors. And people usually buy these in uh, Dubai to take as souvenirs for their friends and family when they visit. Like it's a very nice gift to give as well, you know. And plus it just looks very stunning when it's placed in a corner and it's burning, you know. So usually we do all this. So now this is the one I would stand over usually. There's no chance of me catching fire. As you can see, I'm holding it like this, nothing happens. But if I smell my hands now, it's like a smoky goodness. Now, Ranati has top notes of pineapple, bergamot, orange, saffron, plum, and lemon. Middle notes of rose, jasmine, and lily of the valley. And the base notes of tonka, amber, and cedar wood. Now, you know what I'm doing right now? I'm going to start smelling of this perfume. My favorite out of the lot is... I like, I quite like this one to do it on regular basis, but the Ghalia was my absolute favorite. And from the Bakhurs, this one was my favorite, I forgot the name. And from the Ouds, Ghana was my favorite. And I think they're advertising this range a lot. I think it has like three more, you know, but I have just this one. And this is the kind of scent I like in my house. Something which is modern, something which is light, that on daily basis, it should not overwhelm you. It should just smell like beautiful and make me like make my mood uplifted you know and then what we do is like normally we will combine it with some sprays and stuff around the house if i don't have time before some guests arrive or something and i don't have time to do the oud or maybe the guest is allergic to smoke and stuff then i will just use one of these room sprays on the upholstery on the rug and everything and the whole house starts smelling immaculate you know so i just wanted to show these to you guys in a very short video because Khadlaj, out of goodness of their heart, they send all these to me. They don't even expect me to review them. They just want me to try it and see if I like it or not. But I really wanted to showcase these because off late I've been using all of these, especially because it's Ramadan. Literally, daily basis, I'm without fail, I'm lighting up 
uh, bakhurs and oud water everywhere and my house is always smelling beautiful and we also sometimes keep like things like this in our uh, cupboards you know and we just leave it inside <laughs> with doors closed so the all the clothes automatically have this beautiful scent in them so guys this was a super short very cute little video for you guys uh, i know probably i'm not going to get many views for this one but you know me i like to like show you guys like different different things like different things we use over here especially when it comes uh, in the category of perfumes whether it's house perfumes or whatever uh, i believe khadlaj is going to develop some um, uh, home fragrances like candles and stuff as well so i'm i can't wait for that like i know Swiss Arabian came up with some but the prices are insane it's like really really expensive but i'm assuming that those are like really um good quality but i'll have to go and check it in their showroom and i'll probably pick up a few from there i also wanted to get the kiali ones but they also are like quite pricey but there are some i have my eyes on so once they are on discount i'm going to get those as well and i'll definitely i need to make a station by the way i need to make an oud station where i keep all of these things you know nicely you know how you have coffee corners and coffee stations and stuff i should have a oud station <laughs> once i get my own house once we have enough money one day you know where we get our own house which is like you know there i can make my own things do my own things create like corners and areas and everything and that's when i would want to do all this stuff Do you guys like these kind of videos? Let me know because I know I'm not going to get many hits, but if you guys like it, I'll keep making these once in a while, you know, like once in every 3 months or so. Let me know if you like it and I'll continue to show you some more perfume related stuff from Middle East. Thank you for watching and I love you guys so much. See you in the next one. Bye.